My First Quilt Show is brought to you by Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Orifil, perfectly suited for every quilt project. Hovels, cut it close with hovels. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Riley Blake, colorful, playful, and sophisticated fabrics that can't help but bring a smile to your face. Hi, I'm Sarah Gallegos, and today on My First Quilt Show, we're going to make a churn dash block. This is a really cute block that is a good place to show off some of your favorite contrast colored fabrics. And it is created by using half square triangles, some simple rectangles, and a square in the center. Now, when you're picking out your fabrics for this block, you want to make sure that you have something fairly high contrast for your half square triangle units that are in the corners, and then you want something Pretty high contrast also for your center blocks where you've just got these rectangles coming together. And then I like to use the same color for my center as I've used in my half square triangles. I like how that looks. But you can really play with variations on this block. It's also a good place to think about scale of design on fabric, so the size of the print. If you're working with a print that has larger floral centerpieces, that might work for the center block, but you're going to end up cutting it up in your half square triangles or even in the rectangles that are on the sides. So you wanna make sure that you pay a little bit of attention to the size of the print that you're working with. Now to create this block, I've got it kind of stepped out over here in phases. We need to create four half square triangle units for the four corners. And all that is is a three and seven eighths inch square cut in half on this particular pattern. And I'm going to sew along the bias edge of my triangles with the quarter inch seam. And we are working on bias edges, so we want to make sure we're really careful. And if you've never worked with half square triangles before, we do have an episode of My First Quilt where we talk all about half square triangles and how to cut them and how to sew them. So we'll stitch real quick. There we go. And there we go. Now we would press that block open, and I like to make sure I always press toward the darker side of my fabrics. So now we'll take our rectangles that we sew together for the centers, right sides together, and again, it's just two rectangles sewn together to make a square, and you would create four of these units for each block. There you go. And you would press that also with the seam toward the dark side. And now we have the three elements that become the top and bottom rows. So then I would sew my half square triangle to this unit and this half square triangle to this side of it, and then we have this entire bottom row. The center row is two of our little rectangle units with a square in between, and it's real simple. You're just sewing those right to each side of the square. Just like that. And again, you would press your seam toward your darker fabric. And now that we've got this bottom and the center row together, we can lay one on top of the other. And because we've pressed those seams to the dark sides, they nest really nicely. We can sew these two rows. There we go. I'm just gonna adjust my seam allowance here. We'll give that one a press real quick so we can see how our centers matched. Press it open real carefully. <clears throat> And as always, just making sure that we're lifting our iron and pressing, not ironing against the fabric, especially with all these triangles. And there we've got two thirds of our churn dash block done. And by nesting your seams, you get really nice points and everything lays really nice and flat. So you would just continue that third row and you have the entire churn dash block. So again, here's the finished one. But what's kind of cool about this block is you can really experiment with different looks just by playing with the placement of the colors within the block. So here's your traditional churn dash block. And with this one, I 
adjusted it so that I had my darker colors on the outsides of the block, which kind of makes the center pop out a little bit more, I think. And sometimes you hear this block referred to as a Greek cross. So a churn dash and a Greek cross are very, very similar. They go together the same way, but in the Greek cross, you kind of get that cross showing in the center. It's a little bit more dominant in the block. So you can play with the placement of your colors and the orientation of your fabrics and create a lot of different looks with the churn dash block. My first quilt show is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Orifil, perfectly suited for every quilt project. Hovels, cut it close with hovels. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Riley Blake, colorful, playful, and sophisticated fabrics that can't help but bring a smile to your face.